Hello friends, in this video we will solve a problem on how to calculate the memory address lines of a chip. That is how to find out the memory address range of a chip. So let's have a problem. So our problem is to find out the number of address lines which are required to address the memory and the memory size is given to us. First we have the 256 registers, second we have the 8 kilobyte memory and third we have the 4 kilobyte memory. So let's solve this. We know that the formula to find out the number of address lines it is given by log 2 to the power x equals to log n where x is the number of address lines and n is the number of registers. So this is the formula which we have. So let's take the first part 256 registers. Now putting here the value log 2 to the power x is the number of address lines. So we have x here and log n. n is the number of registers. So log number of registers are 256 here. Now on both sides if we take here x is equal to log 256 upon log 2. This x will come before okay so x is equal to log 256 upon log 2 so x is equal to 8 because what it is it is log 2 to the power 8 here and this is what log 2 8 will come outside so we have 8 log 2 upon log 2 they are cancelled so x is equal to 8 so 8 address lines are used to address the 256 registers. Now how we will decide its address range because 8 address lines are required and total we have 16 address lines. So A15, A02 we are requiring 8. So A02, A7 they are used to address the memory registers and A15 to A8 they are required to connect to be connected to the chip select signal okay so this will have an address range A15 to A8 they will be kept at logic 0 because chip select signal is active low and A0 to A7 they can have any of the values so it will have 0000 200 f this is the address range this chip will have now take let's take the second part we have 8 kilobyte memory now this 8 kilobyte memory because 1 kilobyte have 1024 bytes so 8 will have 8 into 1024 that means 8192 registers so we have got the number of registers in this 8 kilobyte memory again let's have that same formula log 2 to the power x is equal to log n log 2 to the power x, x is the number of address lines and n is the number of registers. So log 8192. We will have x is equal to log 8192 upon log 2 
and this is equal to log 2 to the power 13 upon log 2. So this is 13 log 2 upon log 2. They are cancelled. So x comes out to be equal to 13. So 13 address lines are used to uh, address this memory uh, chip which is having the size 8 kilobyte. Now how we are getting it? We have A15 to A0, the 16 address lines we have. So A0 to A12 will be used to select that uh, chip because we are getting the 13 address lines for it. So we uh, and the remaining A13, A14 and A15, they are used to be connected to the chip select signal. So they are always kept at logic 0 and rest can have any of the value from 0 to 1. So you can have that address range through it. Third we have 4 kilobyte. Again we have 1 kilobyte equals to 1024 bytes. So 4 into 1024 it is equal to 4096 registers. Again, we have the formula N is the number of registers 4096. 4096 it is equal to 2 to the power 12 and this is log 2. So we have X equals to 12. So 12 address lines are required. It means A0 to A11 will be used to address this memory and A12 to A15 are used to be connected to the chip select line. So in this way, we can find out the address lines which are required to address the memory whose size is given to us in the question. So I hope that these kinds of problems can be easily solved by you now. So thank you for this.